this crow was found tampering with a crime scene and his dad was not best pleased a very special crow shot to fame in May of 2016 when he was in danger of becoming a jailbird after his cheeky annex at a murder scene but while this lovable rogues flight of fancy certainly ruffled a few feathers it was the touching story of his life that stole the attention of people around the world and it's not hard to see why this story is so eye-catching after all can you imagine the shock of the officer who saw an essential piece of evidence literally flying away from the scene of a crime it all began on May 24, 2016, when the Vancouver Police Department responded to reports of a burning car. They arrived at the site, a McDonald's parking lot, and they were met by a 28-year-old male armed with a knife. The man ended up being shot, taken into custody, and treated for non-lethal knife and gunshot wounds. These events were dramatic enough, but from that point, things got a little weird. Mike Howell, a reporter for the Vancouver Courier, described how he saw the crow fly into the area of the crime scene and with blatant disregard for the police cordon tape grab the knife and make off with it Owl couldn't believe his eyes a cop chased it for about 15 to 20 feet and then the crow dropped it and took off he told CBC News it was really strange in my 20 plus years reporting from crime scenes I've never seen anything like that crow trying to take a knife but the blade wasn't the only target of the birds banditry Howell said that he'd also saw the bird trying to make off with a pair of eyeglasses in the lot and steal gear belonging to a television camera operator The feathered felon certainly seemed to have a taste for expensive items as well as crucial pieces of evidence The case against the bird was mounting, but who was this beak burglar? There was one last piece to the puzzle that would help reveal the avian offenders identity The criminal crow had a red plastic band fitted around his leg only one local corvid was known to have this distinguishing feature and it was a famous well at least famous in Vancouver crow named Canuck so was Canuck a serial offender well he was always mischievous but he had never been a serious lawbreaker before still Canuck did endure a troubled start in life and that may even explain his recent brush with the law his story starts in May of 2015 that was when the crow chick fell out of his nest and would have died if it wasn't found by a passing human He was found and raised by my landlord's son Sean Bergman wrote on Canuck's Facebook page Yeah, he has a Facebook page and it's called Canuck and I Bergman lives in the same residence and became something of a foster father to the Corbin He was no bigger than a tennis ball and was not able to fly due to his age He more than likely would have died if he hadn't been taken in in my opinion wrote Bergman it took two months to nurse him back to health, but when the young bird was well again He was released back into the concrete jungle But before he was released in the summer of 2015 the chick was fitted with a red plastic band on his leg The very feature that later implicated him in the knife stealing incident for identification purposes Despite Canuck's newfound freedom though He had already come to call the Vancouver neighborhood home and he seemingly wasn't interested in moving further afield on the third day after Canuck's release the bird wasn't hanging around in his usual haunts Bergman went for a walk to see if he could find the chick I ended up coming across him in an open grassy area looking very confused and scared He explained to animal enthusiast website the dodo as soon as he saw me he ran up to me I put up my arm and he flew up and landed on it That was the first time I had ever walked through the neighborhood with a crow on my arm Little did I realize it would be far from the last now it's an everyday thing he explained Bergman named the bird Canuck which was a slang term for the people of Canada He said he wanted something ultra Canadian because he wanted a name that all Canadians could get behind I'm proud of my country and always have been the crows carer agreed and the name stuck Although it was the son of Bergman's landlord who brought Canuck back to health Perhaps finding the confused chick was the act that cemented his friendship with Bergman for some reason he just imprinted me as his best friend Bergman said and while Canuck has been around people a lot Bergman has said that he wants the crow to experience life naturally and remain as wild as he can be The bird never strays far from his human father though Canuck sees Bergman off to the bus stop for work in the morning and greets him when he gets back in the evening Cornell lab of ornithology's crow expert Kevin J McGowan explained that although crows taking shiny things is a myth there is something that could explain Canucks crime scene pilfering They're very social especially when they're growing up and they like to interact with other crows when they're hand-raised by people They love to interact with people he told the Washington Post 
that might explain Canucks impish nature and he's been known to steal other things from around Vancouver too he's very mischievous and a prolific thief but he can also be quite comical said Bergman he's not shy Canuck perhaps craves some human attention in the form of a game and thought I'm gonna grab that and steal it and maybe he'll try to catch me McGowan told the Washington Post Bergman said I'm not thrilled that he tampered with a crime scene but what can you do he's a wild crow despite his naughty nature however Canuck definitely has a likable character and Bergman loves him I'm his best buddy so no matter who he's with or what he's doing he'll pretty much drop everything to come see me he said